Hi, I'm Jamie DeSimone with the Homes for All team at Keller Williams Capital Properties. And today I wanted to talk to you about condo fees. What are condo fees? Well, when you buy a condominium, it's a monthly fee that you are assessed to cover three basic things. You have general operations, you have your staff, and you have replacement reserves. General operations are things like clearing snow from the parking lot or um, having the cleaning people come and clean the hallways, all, all the common area maintenance, keeping the lights on in the parking lot, that kind of stuff. Staff is obviously staff, right? You have engineers who maintain the property. You, have, you may have a front desk staff or some sort of office staff. Um, and then third of all is you have your replacement reserves. Replacement reserves are determined by a study that is done every three to five years by an engineering company that comes in and says, hey, you have three years left to your parking lot before it has to get repaved, or your roof will last 10 more years. Those replacement reserves then have a regular budget that is determined that says every month, X number of dollars have to go towards the replacement reserve cost. So that's what your condo fee every month is made up of, those three things. So what does that mean? Um, well, if you live in a really fancy high rise that has a lot of amenities, so you have swimming pools, you have a uh, weight room, you have saunas, you have, an, uh, you have a movie theater, you have a community room that can be rented, um, you have 16 elevators, you have uh, you know, a number of things that need maintained, you have 24-hour concierge desk. All that stuff needs supported, right? So your condo fee goes to support that. Because keep in mind, as a condo owner, you own from the drywall in on your unit, but you also kind of own a portion of the association. So all the owners combined are also owning the facility itself. Your money goes to maintain the cost of that. Um, when you see uh, condo fees, often they're determined by a couple different things. They're either determined by total square foot and the square footage of your particular unit. So if there's 100,000 square feet of living space within that condominium community, they take that, they divide that by how much money they need to fund those things, and they assess per square footage, whatever that amount is. It could be 25 cents a square foot, 50 cents a square foot. And that's your bill every month. Um, then you see others where it's just based on the number of bedrooms you have. So a two bedroom is X number of dollars and a one bedroom is lower, three bedroom is higher. Regardless, it all comes down to how big your unit is. A larger unit is gonna have a higher condo fee than a smaller unit is. That's just normal. Um, often that, main, that, uh, sorry, that monthly expense goes to support utilities, right? Some condominiums, it includes all utilities. Some, it just includes everything but electric. Um, I've rarely seen any condos that don't include water and trash. It almost always includes your parking, things like that. Um, but that condo fee can fluctuate a lot. Uh, older buildings, sometimes an older the building is, the more that is starting to deteriorate with that property, and there's more that goes into maintaining it on an annual basis. On the other hand, sometimes older buildings have fewer amenities, right? Um, you may only have an exterior pool. You don't have a 24-hour desk. Um, even garden style apartments or condos, sorry, don't even have elevators, right? They're three floor walk up type things. There's no interior space that needs heated other than your unit, which you're responsible for. Um, there's very little of common area to maintain. Um, so your condo fee is going to fluctuate depending on the type of property. So know that the fancier you want your property to be, more than likely your condo fee is going to go high to accommodate that. The drawbacks to having a low condo fee are the fact that, unfortunately, there's properties around here that are just deteriorating. I've been to properties where the steps to the building are crumbling because the condo fee is so low. They haven't replaced carpets in the main areas. Um, it, it just looks like a dump. There's trash laying around the property because they don't employ porters to keep it clean. They don't have a regular cleaning company coming in to maintain common areas. There's no landscaping services. All of those things go to maintain the value of your home, right? Um, any home you buy, you want the value to continue to increase and you want to protect that property value. So in order to do that, there's those condo fees go to support the property. 
whenever you're purchasing a condo, you have a period of time to review the condo documents. You usually receive those anywhere up to 14 days after you go under contract and you get three days in the state of Virginia to review them and you can make a determination to move forward with that property based on what you read in those condo documents. And the most important things to look for is to make sure that it's a balanced budget and that the reserves are fully funded or at least close to being fully funded because you want to make sure that that condominium does not deteriorate while you're owning it. The other thing is um, when you see properties that have very, very, very high uh, investors to owner occupants. Unfortunately, investors want to keep their costs low, right? They're using it as a write-off um, or they're just making money on it. And often if they are very heavily involved in the operating of the association, they will vote to keep those condo fees low. And although I want you to have a low condo fee because that does go into your overall monthly expense, you don't want it to be so low that you're actually losing money because of it. So it's important to have a well-balanced condo fee for the type of property that you have. Um, if you ever have any questions about condo fees or you're, you don't understand what they cover, please feel free to reach out to me. I can reach at 703-517-5608. And again, this is Jamie D. Simone at the Homes for All team at Keller Williams Capital Properties. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.